Yeah. Well, it's time for the pizza party, said the man with the yellow hat. Have fun and remember to be on your best behavior. Welcome back to Farming with Family. As you can see, we had a nice, lovely breakfast, which included some home raised JNS Heinrich Farm beef bacon. If you haven't tried beef bacon before, it's delicious. Not the easiest to find, but it's super good. It's feeling like spring, so Maya's getting her lawnmower going. Did it start yet? No, it's not yet. We're gonna get the trampoline put up, get the chicken coop cleaned out, give the cows some more hay, and play with cousins, because we got Macy and Nolan and aunties and uncles here. Getting the trampoline put up again. Hello. What are you doing, Nolan? Putting the trampoline back together. Once, it's... one spring at a time. One spring at a time. Oh, this is still the easy part. Yeah. So when you get almost to the end, then it gets a little harder. <laughs> what you doing, babe? Someone's waiting for breakfast. The trampoline is all set up. Thanks to Macy, Sarah, Nolan, and the kids for trying to play on it before it was set up. Instead of, feed, instead of feeding the fish, it's feed the chickens. They're waiting. Got all sorts of help today. Got a four-wheeler driver. The cows are staying in because I got not one, but two gate getters. We'll get some work done today, boys and girls. So the cows don't all stand in the same spot all the time. I move the bale feeders around once in a while. Moved one over there. I got some junk I'm gonna clean up this summer. This one I'm gonna put over here kind of spreads the manure around and it's not all built up in one spot. So we'll put a bale on this bale feeder. Want the latest in fashion design just look to macy for your style guide what are we gonna do now clean out the chicken coop are you just uber excited i'm so excited all the waste these things produce it's fertilizer but that's okay all right we're ready to get some 
cleaning done. You guys excited? Stinky, stinky. Nice and smelly. Yeah. Lovely. The chickens will be so happy when it's all fresh and clean. Is it stinky? Uh-huh. Pitchfork in the head. In the chicken poo. Into the bucket of the payloader. How's it going, Uncle Josh? Oh, it's going. Like sunshine. Man, it's so nice out today and working hard. Had to shed a layer, working up a sweat. Macy's helping out big time. We got a whole scoop of political promises. Smells like politicians in there. Dumping the chicken poo. It's all cleaned. Mace was a big help. No one was a big help. You can see how high the poop was up. We'll let this air out for an hour or so. Then we'll put in some new straw, put their feeder and water back in. Chickens will be happy as clams. Maya, is it winter or summer? Summer! Nah. Yeah, it's March, what, nine? Ten. Ten? You're crazy. We're having some sourdough that this girl and this girl made. It's quite delish. You know where the bread is? On the counter. Okay. Having a little snack. Mm. All right, we're all done with the chicken coop. Everything's got fresh straw. Someone's making themselves right at home. Got fresh water, clean that out. We did put a... Um, a tarp on the bottom of that so then in theory the poop will slide down and then we can just catch it down there um make it a little bit easier to clean then we clean out this side over here we didn't put any straw in here because it's going to be getting warmer makes it easier to clean out and they don't really need the strata for bedding in here but they got fresh feed Everything should be good. We all worked hard, didn't we? Yep. We'll see what we can do, get done tomorrow. Yay! Okay, all the family left. Russell and Amber and the kids headed back to Kansas City. So I'm going to get a few things done around here. Gonna do a little dragging of the yard since I got different ruts and stuff from the mud. But I have an old uh, feeder house chain for my combine. So I just pull that around. It really levels off stuff nicely. Holds pretty e easily. So gonna get a little video of that. Tax man asked if this is a farm expense. Sure is. Mom's picking rocks off the driveway. All right, go put them in the hole. Watch out, Maya. Go, buddy, go. Over there. Picking rocks with the four wheeler. All right, back for another day, getting close to the end of this video, but we're putting in a new radiator in my 4440. I'll show you the old so one. So it's in good shape. It just started to leak where this top goes together. It started to leak down here a little bit. So I figured, well, in the off season, I'll get a new one and replace it. And then since this one's still in good shape, I'm gonna have it overhauled or redone. They can recore these things because the old original ones were, they're just built better than the newer ones. And then I'll have a spare on hand. But Matt's doing it for me. So he got the old one out. New one's gone in, everything's lined up like it's supposed to. Once in a while, they might not make these exactly to spec and might be a little bit too wide, too narrow, but everything is just bolted up real nice. Got new hoses, top and bottom. Gonna put a new coolant. 
And then at the same time, I'm gonna do oil change, fuel filters. So then get the cab cleaned out, then it'll be all ready for springtime, which it's uh, March 18. So it's getting closer to time to go, but it's nice to have these projects done when, when you have downtime. And today is kind of a special day. It would be my dad's 68th birthday. So miss having him around, but it's, it's kind of fun working on his equipment and keeping his farm going. So got to go up and see how many hours are on this. So I can write it down. All right, 527. I get the number so I can write it on here and keep track of how many hours I put on in between oil changes. Now this tractor obviously doesn't have 527 hours on it, but the original tack from the guy I bought it from who bought this new, uh, the original tack stopped working. So he got it replaced with a new one and behind this door, he wrote on when he put a new tack in. So if you add those two together, it's got right around 7,000 hours. So good solid running tractor. It's in, it's in nice shape, it's been well taken care of. So I try to keep doing the same. There's some smoke for you. No muffler, just straight pipe. Besides vacuuming out the cab and maybe washing the windows and stuff, it's all ready to go. Looking forward to spending a few hours in this thing this year again. Anybody need some scrambled eggs? Vaughn must have set the basket on our uh, tub over there. Yeah, apparently a bunch of them fell into there. And there's a lot that are cracked. So we'll make a egg dish or in the olden days, they used to take them and make, make noodles out of them because you need flour and eggs to make noodles. So we'll figure out something to do with them. Nothing goes to waste. So today I went and got some hydraulic fluid. I usually just take my empty buckets, keep the seal on them so I know they're nice and clean. And I take them to John Deere and get my hydraulic fluid there and bulk oil when I need it. But if anyone wants to guess how much a gallon of bulk hydraulic fluid costs, so leave a comment and see how close everybody is and I'll comment later and let you know the answer. You gonna go start your own lawn mowing business? Yeah. How's it working so far? Good. Good? You getting a lot done? Yeah. Where are you gonna mow next? Over there. Back there in the trees? Yeah. Okay. Have fun. So Matt got my licks, uh, leak fixed on the payloader. There was a hose it's above this, it's really hard to see and get at, but there's a hose that had a pin full, pin hole, man, I can't even talk today, up there above where these connect to. So we got that fixed, but I need some floor dry because there is a bunch of oil that spilled out, but we'll get that cleaned up. Now it shouldn't leak oil anymore. Hope ready to go feed some cows? Yeah. How do you like your little spot back there? Good. Good thing you're small. Mm -hmm. A few more years, you won't fit anymore. Then where are you going to ride? On the what? On the step? No. No? Should we go feed the cows now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Maya, give me a ride over to the house. Okay. She's learning. Go. good job high five since I got power back here got the lines all dug in last fall and Russell my brother-in-law set up the Wi-Fi now I can have internet back here and radio it's nice stuff hey guys what did you just win a prize and ice cream we get to go to Dairy Queen for our free cones and a prize what was the question you had to answer? What is the main ingredient fruit for Black Forest cake? And cherries. Well, yep, it was cherries. Did we call in and answer the question? Yep. On Dairy Queen trivia? Yes. You excited to get a treat at the Dairy Queen sometime? Yes! Yeah! Who knew it could be 
so interesting to go out in the gravel and collect rocks and put them in an old glass jar. No TV needed. Well, little Miss Maya has a little fever. She threw up once yesterday and then it felt pretty good. Then has a little fever this morning, but doesn't want to lay around inside. So we're going to get some uh, oil change done on our loader tractor, 4440. You going to help with that? Yeah. So we'll get that done this morning. I always like to start them and get them nice and warmed up so the oil drains out good before I change the oil. <laughs> Not feeling it right now. Should have plugged it in. Put the battery charger on for a little bit. It's not that cold, but these batteries are kind of weak. I've been nursing them through the winter for the last few years because in the summertime it starts just fine. And these batteries are about 200 bucks a pop and it takes two of them. So should we go check on the chickens? Yeah. All right. Okay. Ended up getting the tractor started. Didn't get a cold start video. Sorry. Greta would have missed out. But got the oil plug. Got that all cleaned off. Gonna do an oil sample, check things over. Maya's gonna take a video for me. Yeah. Let's see how your videographer skills are this morning. Yeah. All right, let's see how tight this oil plug is for the last time. Oh my goodness, that thing is on the board. Ah, whew. Whoever changed that oil last ate their Wheaties. I think that was me. Keep your fingers out of the way. All right, let's see how much of a mess we can make, Maya. Are you good at making messes? Yes. Yeah. All right, got out. Just got the oil plug and let her fly. Now, gotta get my sample. I try to catch it as it's coming out. All right, got my sample. All right, you can stop it now. Okay, Maya, what do we got? Yeah, Ready to put them on the tractor? Yeah. Put a new oil filter, an air filter. Then in my pockets, I got some fuel filters. Get it all serviced. Yeah. Well, I think we worked too hard this morning because Little Miss is out for the count. Sleeping like a rock. Well, this is where we're gonna end the video. I just got home from working a 12 hour night shift at the hospital. So it's my last one for about a week and a half now that I'm getting closer to planting and stuff. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. And my hat is brought to you by Coyote Well Services. Got a friend that owns a hydro testing company up in the North Dakota oil fields. So if you're in that area and need some hydro testing done or a hot shot, give Coyote Well Services a call. But have a good day and thanks for watching.